This is a follow-up to a video I posted a while back on adding horizontal lines in Word 2010. The question came up about how to add a double horizontal line instead of a single. So here are a couple of the best options for how to do that. We'll start by switching to the Insert tab, click Shapes, and choose the Straight Line option. Then we'll simply click and drag wherever we want our horizontal line to be. And keep in mind, if we hold down the Shift key on the keyboard, you'll notice that the line snaps to the horizontal, or to a 45 degree angle, or to vertical. In our case, we want horizontal, so we'll hold the Shift key down, draw out our line, and release. That opens up a Drawing Tools Format tab on the ribbon, and from there, with the line selected, we'll click Shape Outline, come down to Weight, and rather than just changing the weight here, let's go down to the bottom and click More Lines. Here we'll be able to change from a single line to a double line if we come up and click Compound Type. And here you see the first default option is the single line. Then we have three options for double lines and even a triple line option. So let's click one of the double line options. We'll change the size of the object to four points and click Close. And here we have a double line on the page. The downside of this method is that we have no option for changing either the spacing between the two lines or changing the weight of each individual line. So we can achieve this same look and have more flexibility if instead we just draw two single lines. So with the Format tab still selected on the ribbon, we can come over and click the Straight Line option, draw another horizontal line on the page, holding the Shift key down, this time we will change the weight of this line. Now hold down the control key on the keyboard and click and drag the first line and you can see that we've just created a second line. Identical to the first and yet we can adjust the spacing between the lines to be whatever we'd like it to be. When we're ready, release and we have our double line. Now we can click shape outline and if in this case we want to make the second line narrower, we can do that. So we've been able to achieve a double line look by using two single lines, and it gives us more flexibility. The last thing I would do is hold the control key down on the keyboard and select both lines, then right click the selection, select group. We've now combined them into a single line that we can move around however we like. The last option that I always like to check is to come up to wrap text, by default, the lines are in front of text, which is good, but let's click More Layout Options. Switch to the Position tab, and make sure the box is always checked to Move Object with Text. If we uncheck this box and check the Lock Anchor box, that would lock the position of the lines on the page, so even if the text around the lines were to move, the lines would stay in the same place on the page. That's normally not what we're after, so uncheck this box and make sure Move Object with Text is checked, and click OK. Now if we had to edit the paragraph above our double lines, or move it on the page, the lines that we added will move with the text. In most cases, that's what we're after. So there are a couple of easy ways to add double horizontal lines to your Word 2010 documents. If you have any other questions about how to accomplish tasks in Word 2010, please feel free to post them here and I'll do my best to help you out.